Yeah, Caddx Ascent, uh, Caddx Protos drone with the Ascent video system. Caddx going to a new a new chip inside, and um, according to Mads Tech, as I understand correctly, there's like two chips, and one of them is like the processor that handles the user interface, and then one of them is the actual chip that does the radio modulation and stuff. And they used to be like one chip and now there's two separate chips so they can do like easier upgrades and stuff, but it's basically going to break compatibility with their previous generation is how I understand it. Uh, which, um, sounds like it's the kind of thing that kind of was inevitable. Like eventually they're going to have to upgrade their, their hardware and that's going to break compatibility, but it's going to also piss everybody off. So Yeah. Um, so yeah, my, it, yeah, go ahead. My, my impression, you know, for people who don't remember the original timeline, when the original walk snow goggles came out, um, you know, not the goggles X, but the original the dom ones, the you know, dominators. that system had a default password on it. So we were able to access the goggles very early on. The password was artisan, mm -hmm. uh, because the artisan chipset for people who don't know is like you said, a third party company. It's a company that isn't Caddx. So they get access to whatever chips are available from artisan. Um, that being said, it looked like from all the settings that basically all they did was get a software development kit. You know, we don't know for sure, but it seemed like basically they had an SDK for the chip and they were enabling features that were set up by artisan mm -hmm. to work on the system. And then right. they were sort of making the UI look like the DGI features, but in general, you know, those features were from Artisan built into the chip. Right. So we need to remember, and Madstack basically says this too, is like we need to remember that that's the access they have. DGI has access to the core of everything. Like anything right. you could change structurally about the way the link works, the way the software works, the way anything's integrated, you know, you could change. But my understanding is for Walksdale, it's more like a blob, and they just get access to whatever commands they get access to. The SDK has right. certain things set up for them, and they can turn a certain bitrate or do a certain thing, but you can't just change core features. And so there's I think a, that makes see, it much harder for them to do something like DJI did, where they they built their own version of a different operating system on an old goggle and were able to connect to a new chip, you know, right, that sort of right, thing. Right, right, right. And, and uh, I believe this new chip, the new chip has the markings lasered off it, but I heard a rumor that it was just a different artisan chip. So one of the hypotheses as to why they did this was, well, did they want to get away from artisan, right, and go with something else? And and so apparently the answer is no. They've just gone to a different artisan chip. At least that's the claim. That's not proven as far as I know. Um, I, oh, I was under the impression it is for sure, but maybe it is not. It is not. for sure? Okay. I just don't want to I overstate it. Yeah. I don't want to overstate it. I also think it is for sure, but I don't want to say that and then turn okay. out that I was talking out my ass. So the fact that you say that gives me a little more confidence. So now they've gone to a different artisan chip, which they still don't have presumably access like to the core. Like they just have whatever artisan gives them. Um, but the question is like, and we don't know the answer. We can't answer this question. Why? Why did they do that? Was this other chip like maybe it was, I hear it was like a very old chip. It had been around for a long time. 2017 maybe they or 2018. Yeah. Yeah, was released on that chip. So like a very well, costly a, end of life, which yeah, I think is what you're yeah. going to say, but or, I mean, it's old. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe they were the only ones like still using it. Everyone had moved on with their life because other people don't care about compatibility in the same way or they're not doing the kind of things that require uh, you to keep using the old hardware. But the takeaway, I, I think the takeaway is this um, because I, I, someone someone said Walksdale put out on Facebook a new a call for testers for the GT2 video transmitter. The Walksdale GT2 video. That's the that's the the Gen One system, if you want to call it that, instead of the Ascent system. And they said, "See, Bardwell, the Walksdale's not going anywhere." And I'm like, "Oh, I was." My answer was, "We'll see. Give it time." Like, I don't see any reason why they would release this new Gen Two system if they weren't eventually planning on getting rid of the Gen One system, right? Their claim that, oh, this is for beginners, that's bullshit. That's just marketing, right? There's nothing inherent about this new video system that makes it better for beginners. That's just, that's just, they're just trying to get you to not question too much the reason why they've done this is my read on it. Um, so I think that this is a trial balloon where they're like, hey, we're working on this new system. Let's put it out in this beginner kit and test it out and see what people think and get some hardware out there. And they have said that they are going to release standalone video transmitter and presumably they have to release standalone goggles 
for this new Ascent video system. And the thing is, I don't see why they would keep supporting the old one indefinitely. They're going to keep supporting the old one as long as they need to until the new one gets to a point that they can say this is the new one and everybody needs to switch over. And honestly, like when people hear that, some people, people who are heavily invested in the old one, I think are going to be super pissed off. I mean, that's not, that's not, ooh, hot take, Bardwell. Um, but, uh, you know, if you look at DJI, DJI does a generational change every like two years, roughly. And now they don't break compatibility every time. Typically, they will keep compatibility one generation older. So the O3 was compatible with the Vista. The O4 and the, the G3 is compatible with the O3. Then so basically you get four years of compatibility out of a DJI system. And that's when did when did uh, Walksdale come out? 2019, I think, roughly? 2008? Not 2018. 2019, maybe 2020? No, that's to be like 2021 or something, right? Because really? I started in 2019. Yeah. 2021? Okay. That's my guess. It's 20 off, off the cuff here. Maybe I can find my own video. Uh, oh, my gosh. May 2022. That's okay. much later than I thought. All right. Well, I'm glad I checked. 2022, the Dominator HD came out. Uh, is that right? Let me double check that. Dominator, yeah. Walk Snail Avatar, June, 20, June 2022. My video, there you go. My video came out June 2022. Okay. So June 2022, the system released. It is now October 2025. I can't believe it's only been three years since this system came out. That does not feel like it could possibly be right, Blunty. Am I insane? It, that I, doesn't like feel said, like it I, could I be right. I guess 2021, but yeah, it does feel like it's been a long time. It feels I mean, like it's been lot, around way longer than that. A lot happened and then nothing happened. That's sort of why we stopped the news. That's my opinion. So I, I think that's yeah. why it feels to me like it was so long. Uh, I think you... Oh, you got it. Okay, never mind. You yeah, sorry, the, the chat the chat stopped moving. I fixed it, though. Um, well, just a couple questions. You know, yeah. we've got all kinds of ranges of people in chat. You know, we started off very uh, knowledge forward focused, just for people who don't know, right? Yeah. Basically, you know, DJI has their own custom silicon uh, yes. made by various companies. I'm not sure who exactly right now. Uh, that's some of that has been discussed before, but basically they have their own custom silicon made for them by a company. Mm -hmm. Artisan is another video company entirely. They're just a company who made an ASIC for low latency yes. digital video. Yes. And then Walksnail signed a contract with them to be exclusive for FPV. So uh, somebody in chat asked, is DJI the same chips? And, and it's not. It's similar technology. It's a similar a long, idea, but a, it is from two different places. A long, long time ago, didn't DJI use Artisan very briefly? No. Never? Not that I know of. Not okay. that I know of. My bad. Maybe, they My may bad. have come out of the same place, but I don't think an artist chip was ever in a DJI drone. But I hmm. could be wrong. It, it's been years since we've discussed this. So, yeah. Uh, okay. There's a lot of things to forget. So, um, so basically, yeah. What Walksnail is doing is they're going and they're buying an off the shelf chip that does digital video encoding. And it's also the RF, like the RF modulation stuff too, isn't it, Blunty? Or am I wrong about that? Do you know? What? what no, I'm sorry. It, does the Artisan chip also do the RF stuff? The yes. modulation? Yeah, okay. So, so uh, D, whereas DJI is custom making one to their exact needs and so has deeper control. And that's why Walksnail will never have as good performance as DJI. Ha <laughs> ha, uh, hot take. No, that was just me being silly. Um, but going back to the, go, then we'll move to the next topic. Uh, I don't see any reason why Walksnail, because they could have released this exact same product with their existing One S VTX. It would have been compatible. It would have been a fine product. It would have been a better product because it would have been a bridge into the Walksnail ecosystem, which is a completely valid step to take. Um, but they did it with this new system and they're putting dev resources into this new system. And so that tells me that eventually the, v the current system is going to go away and they're going to move to this new system. Otherwise, why would they do this? Unless this new system turns out to be a bust and then they're like, oh, okay, well, never mind, unless they change their mind, which knowing Caddx, they certainly could do that. They certainly have tried various things and said they were going to do various things and then changed their mind or not done them, or sometimes they do them, or sometimes they do some random thing that you didn't ask for, uh, and you're like, oh, interesting, like the repeater. 
So it's one day we had a repeater. It was like, oh, okay. What about the other things you said you were working on? So, um, but the repeater's nice. That's cool. So anyway, um, I, I mean, I think that the time frame for the V1 system going away is, I would say, how long is it going to take for them to get the new system spun up to the point where it can replace the existing one completely? Two years? I mean, the other one's only been around for three years, apparently. So I don't think this is imminent, but I do think that this, you know, it's like uh, the analogy I made is it's like if your girlfriend suddenly says, hey, my old boyfriend from college is in town and I'm going to have dinner with him and I'll, uh, I'll be out for the night. You're like, right? And like you trust her, but also that's kind of a weird thing to say. Right. And so here's Caddix and they're like, hey, we got this new video system. And everybody with the current video system is like. Kind of feels like you're thinking of leaving me. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway. All right. 